Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a snow system here that's going to be affecting us in through next week, really early week through midweek, or kind of heading towards late week there, Monday through about Thursday it looks like. We're going to start out with our GFS. This is what we're going to use for precipitation type, but we're going to go over the snowfall of all the models. This one's just the easiest to really look at all the precipitation type as we move along the whole frame. So this is going to be starting afternoon or evening time of Monday. Then we're going to move on to kind of morning time Tuesday, and you can see snow is really starting from Northern Virginia through Maryland, D.C., New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York. All of us are getting snow. The snowstorm looks, looks to bring a little bit of snow, at least to some of us who haven't seen a lot of snow all winter, uh, which would be really good news for a lot of us who have kind of been in a snow drought, uh, I guess, is what we've been calling it. So that's really good news for some of you. Now we're going to move on to Tuesday night. And you can see this has moved up into southern New England, getting snow, all of Massachusetts, New York City, kind of getting snow there to begin with, Ch kind of changing over to rain, Long Island as well. Upstate New York, we're getting snow. Central Pennsylvania, we're getting snow. Some areas are ending as rain for Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania, though. But New England is getting a lot of snow here by Tuesday night. And then we can see by Wednesday morning, uh, a lot of Vermont, upstate New York, Massachusetts still getting some snow in some areas. Boston, we've changed over to rain. Coastal New Hampshire, coastal Maine. Uh, and we've kind of switched over to rain as well. But heavy snow as we move a little bit inland. There looks like a pretty strong system could be in store for us by Wednesday if all things stay this way. These models tend to change a little bit, but sometimes they do surprise us and actually keep the same solution. So we're kind of, this isn't really a forecast yet. This is kind of just us looking at the model here and what it's showing as of right now. Uh, and you can see by Thursday or or Wednesday night, actually, you can see the snow has really moved out. There's some snow showers lingering, but that system has moved out. Now here's the snowfall on the GFS. I know this is surprising. This includes sleet though, so you can subtract a lot of that on the south and eastern end of this. But really we're looking at 10 inches somewhere. So this could be our next winter storm, next big winter storm for the northeast at least. But some areas that haven't gotten snow will at least see some snow here hopefully. It looks like according to the GFS, which is good news for you guys. Now here's your ECMWF model, your European model. This one excludes sleet, so this should be pretty accurate as far as snowfall goes. But you can see coastal New England, southern New England, Long Island, New York City. We're all getting snow there, 2 to 4 inches here on the European model, which is good news for you guys. I know I've been getting a lot of complaints for them from those areas as well as the Boston area areas in coastal Massachusetts as well uh, looks like we could possibly see some snow uh, and here's your FV3 GFS this one goes the most overboard I, I like to usually exclude this model but I'm just showing it again this includes sleet so a lot of that in Virginia and West Virginia can be subtracted that's a lot of snow is showing and I don't think it'll be that much this image has actually been floating around a lot uh, but I, I don't think this will be quite accurate and then here's your outlier, the CMC gem model. Uh, and, and this one doesn't look like it includes sleet, but uh, it keeps things on the lower end for the most part. But really a lot of New Jersey, D Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Long Island, Southern New England, uh, Boston, coastal Massachusetts, coastal Maine, and coastal New Hampshire. We're all looking to get some snow, which is really good news for you guys. A lot of you have been complaining about not getting a lot of snow. And this one could be the game changer. Again, models could change. Unfortunately, this could trend west, and then you wouldn't really get much at all. But it, for now, it's, it's good news. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.